Hello, this is the answer key and listening for level three, unit four, lesson C. And this is the conversation strategies lesson. So let's first listen to this conversation between Rob and Corey. Page 38, lesson C. If you ask me, one, conversation strategy, giving opinions, B. Listen. Which of the statements above do Corey and Rob agree with? So, how are you and Charles doing? And the kids? Good, thanks. Just way too busy. I don't think we get enough time together. I guess it's the same for everybody. Oh, definitely. If you ask me, we all work too much these days. Absolutely. With all the long hours and running the kids around. Oh, I know. And my wife often brings work home on the weekends, too. Whatever happened to time off? Yeah, it seems like we don't get enough time to relax. Oh, that's for sure. And it seems to me that's why people often get burned out. <laughs> exactly. So you can look at the box below and see in the conversation how each speaker introduces their opinion by using one of these phrases. Underneath, you will use these phrases to complete the sentences. I won't show you the answers for this because there really is not an answer. It's just your opinion. What I will say is with don't, you cannot use don't with a negative. So I can say, I don't think people spend enough time. Or you can say, I think people don't spend enough time. Um, but you can't use don't in a sentence that has a negative. Otherwise, uh, feel free to complete these sentences with your opinion. And then the next part uh, is a listening on page 39. So we're going to listen and you're going to hear the beginning of the conversation and then you'll choose the best response for that beginning. Page 39. Two, strategy plus, agreeing. A, listen to the start of five conversations. Number the responses one to five. One. It's really bad for kids when they come home from school to an empty house. Remember when one parent used to stay at home with the kids? Nowadays, both parents are at work. Two. A lot of families don't have meals together anymore. That's not a good thing. Whatever happened to family dinners? Three. You know, there's a lot of pressure on kids to get good grades so they can get into college. They have to study all the time. It's just not healthy. Four. It's nice when grandparents can take care of the kids, like when parents are busy. I mean, it's better than having a babysitter stay with them. Five. My son is still in high school, and he wants to get a part-time job. But, you know, I'm not sure it's a good idea. I mean, he's already so busy with school and everything. So if you need to listen again, go back in the video and play the listening. And then when you are ready, continue the video and I'll show you the answers. So these are the answers you should have. One thing I want to point out with letter D and E that both of these responses, the person 
begins with an agreement. I know that's true. And then here they introduce an opposite or disagreeing opinion. So for the first conversation, this response is that's true, but, and then they say an opposite opinion that the reason there isn't a parent home is because families need to income. So if you disagree with someone, many times people will say they agree and then introduce that opposite opinion. So the next activity is practice with this. So after you have written in the answers, continue the video and I'll show you what is the correct answer to finish each conversation. And these are the answers that you should have. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. That's all of the activities for this lesson. Underneath are some conversation topics and you should be able to say which ones you agree on using the vocabulary that we learned in this unit. That's all there is for this video. Have a great rest of your day and I will talk to you later. Bye bye.